Welcome to a Friday afternoon episode of the Hollow Chronicles podcast. I am joined today with my buddy Gary, and we are doing what we have billed as a virtual garage sale at Gary's house. Now, for those that may not know us well, uh, this last summer, Gary and I bought a large toy collection uh, from a couple of brothers in Chicago, where we have sorted through some things we've kept some things we've sold some items and we still have a ton of stuff to go through um we spent one show already kind of going through um some of the more higher end things that we were able to get in that collection um but there's still a lot left and um and we thought it would be great to uh do a stream where we're showing you guys what's still there, what's still available. Um, we're going to put some prices on some things if you feel like uh, there's something there that you got to have. And there is a wide range from, uh, you know, vintage uh, sand crawlers to uh, 90s Naboo Starfighters to some of the weird odds and ends ephemera of Star Wars Um that uh that we that we've had a lot of fun just looking through and talking about and then uh ideally we want to send on to you what uh is missing in your collections so here's how it's going to work first of all before we go any further gary we should say hello to the chat there's Let's a lot of it. people that are uh, joining us and the comments are a flowing we are kind of filling a void uh that zsr would be normally occupying on a Friday evening or Friday afternoon or morning, depending on where you're at. And uh, so thank you guys for showing up. Um, and, uh, and and we already appreciate, I, I imagine that there are a, a number of people here right now that have uh, grabbed a few items from us already and are ready for round two. Uh, also shout out to the folks at NEC this weekend. Hope that is awesome. I know there's some guys meeting up um, and I hope you guys have a great time and, and are able to find a few things for your collections too. So Gary, this is how it's going to work. We're going to show some stuff. We're going to spend at least an hour. Who knows how long this will go, uh, <laughs> showing things that are currently in your garage and behind you. If you look, yeah, I'm actually right streaming there. from, from my garage. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, inspired by VTR, who streamed from his attic a couple weeks ago. Um, we're streaming from Gary's Garage live. And um, we're going to put some prices on things. We'll allow you to bid on things. We'll even negotiate if you'd like to negotiate. Um, and then we'll, we'll get down your information or you can message us through Instagram, Twitter, um, or email. Um, and and uh, and we'll run totals when we can do a shipping uh, price at the end of it all uh, in case some of you decide you want to start a box and you want to maybe a couple of things. We'll put them all in the same box and ship it to you. So if you have any questions, um, feel free to ask. But I think we can just get rolling. Gary, is there anything that I missed? Nope. Um... You said you were going to say hello to the chat, so let's let's see who's in the chat and maybe say a few hellos as we scroll down. I can see it's kind of lively in there already. Oh People my hello. goodness! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, Ed Five, Trenton, Matt, good to see you guys. G Force, Adam, uh, Stu, good to see you. Gary, you're in there. What's I'm that? in there. Yeah, He's shabby. Um, we'll get to uh, we'll we'll post comments up. Um, as it pertains, I see a lot of people. Georgie, hey Georgie, Des, good to see you. Um, there's a, as it pertains to the items, we'll start putting some comments up. It does look like everybody's just kind of settling in and saying hello, and and uh, and I'm and I'm already behind. I, oh, there's Nick, good to see you, Nick. Um, JD, awesome. Skywalker's Academy, man, you guys showed up today, which is awesome. Scott Whitehouse, good to see you, buddy. Um, okay. Uh, one last, one last point of order. We got to say congratulations to Stu and Georgie. They put on the, um, the, the, the charity event for the, for the kids. Oh, the 24 hour stream. What, yeah, yeah, yeah. what an awesome 24 hours that they, that they put together. Um, just 
absolutely fantastic. Doubled their total from the previous year. So congratulations, fantastic work. And and Gary, what, what was the final? What was the final on that? I think it was five thousand five hundred and twenty dollars. I think was the total. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Our one thing that I love about our community, and we've seen it firsthand too, is that is that they show up for good causes. Um, so that that doesn't surprise me at all. And I'm and I'm proud of you guys and Stu and Georgie. That was. That was an awesome thing you guys did. So well done. Um, this Gary is not a charity event. This well, is uh... <laughs> <laughs> it could be. <laughs> it could be right, 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 right. Uh, okay, let's let's get to it here, guys. Hey, Mike, good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, the chat's popping off here. Jason O'Toole, we've got we've got Europe. North America and Australia represented right now, which is fantastic. We might be hitting the sweet spot here. Um, and, uh, and Geek Strong, good to see you, bud. Good to see you. Okay, what is item number one here, Gary? Yeah, that's me. There you I'm go. not for sale. Dashing. A night with Gary. <laughs> <laughs> First. Three cents. Three cents. Let's go from there. Too much. <laughs> Negotiable. Yeah. So the also, first item that we have the, up, if you could switch to that camera. Oh, yes. There you go. I was, I was like looking at you, buddy. There you go. So this is a fun item. This is the Star Wars Talking Bank. Uh, is functional, battery operated. Uh, you put a coin in there. Uh, Darth Vader goes into action. His lightsaber lights up. It basically says impressive, most impressive, but you're not a Jedi yet. Um, goes through the, the sing and the song and a dance. Uh, kind of a, like I say, kind of a cool item. So we kind of started off with this one. Um, and uh, we had this marked up uh, sort of around the 30 buck mark was, was kind of the suggested retail price. Okay. Um and do you know what it says? What the what the Vader yeah, says? It says impressive, most impressive. You are not a Jedi yet. So <sighs> basically it's the it's the real voice and then it's got the da 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 da. Nice. And it goes on for about a minute and a half, two minutes, uh, oh, after, yeah. you, after you put in each coin. So so every time. Nice. Every time. Every time. <laughs> every time. It's cool the first time. The sixth or seventh time in the same day. Yeah. This is this is what an uncle gives to his nephew to bug yeah. his brother. <laughs> it's, it's definitely one of those ones that you probably hoik the batteries out after uh, after a, a little while. So we can and we can shift for these items. I mean, again, doesn't look like we got too much love for the talking banks. So or we, I mean, again, this is kind of the kind of claim sale. Uh, way of doing things if people are interested in in it we're, we're open to offers if not we'll just move along to the next item yeah okay let's do it then all right let's grab another item off the shelf hey left coast good to see you buddy Okay, um, twenty bucks for Vader's girl. That's Cat. She wanted the bank. Oh, let's do it. Okay, let's do it. So this Gary looks like a um, one of those. So it's Return of the Jedi, so probably circa 1983, 1984. Yep. Children's costumes. It is. Um, is it a Ben Cooper? Wow. Well, what, is what that the that? is that the little blue? Stamp? It is a Ben Cooper. Yep. Okay. It is absolutely. Yeah. So this is a 1983 Return of the Jedi Admiral Akbar and its face mask and and kids costume. Uh, I think it's young adults. Or young young child, uh, twelve to fourteen, ages twelve to fourteen, or twelve to ninety nine. 
All right. So what what are we letting that go for today? I think that that oh. was again. I think that was around thirty bucks. But again, open to offers on 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 these two. We have two of these items. This one is the Akbar one, and we have Kla two uh, coming up. Okay. Hey Tim, good to see you, man. Um, go ahead and put. You want to put the Kla two one up there too, yeah, just to that one up as well. So this these costumes have a plastic mask. You know, it's a little rubber band that'll hold it on. And then like a little vinyl front, I don't know. I don't know if you'd call it a tunic, but uh, it just goes on the front. Hey, Anthony, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for popping in. DGA, the cards haven't been put up yet. We just started. We're on items number two and three here with the costumes. So these are Ben Cooper. Um VTR's got 20 bucks on the Akbar. Let's do it. We're okay with that. What about the Kla 2? Any takers on the Kla 2? Ben Cooper Kla 2 costume. VTR, 20 bucks on Akbar. VTR starting box. <laughs> I'll just do one quick call. <laughs> That's wild. If that doesn't give you nightmares, I don't know what will. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the uh, the costume inside. So like you said, it's like a plastic vinyl uh, wrap around uh, goes all the way down. It's yeah. actually got Revenge of the Jedi, uh, Jedi on the uh, on the. Oh, that's right. This one because that one, yeah, yeah, that one has revenge, and it's the skiff claw too, not the. That, uh, that is correct. Claw okay, guys, this is a Revenge of the Jedi piece. You guys know that not a lot of merchandise came out with the Revenge of the Jedi logo on it. So, I see the five dollar throw out. We're gonna have to do maybe just a little bit better than that for a revenge item. I, I had forgotten about that. Yeah. Yeah, it is uh, like you say one of those pieces that that, <laughs> yeah. that uh, it's kind of confusing because it has Return of the Jedi, but the uh, the printing on the on the apron says Revenge of the Jedi. So yeah, it, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Well, what's up, Derek? I'm glad you're here. Thanks for clarifying, DGA. I I did not know that was you, buddy. <laughs> Gary, we need you to model it. There you go, from Adam <laughs> Perry. There you go. There. You go. <laughs> Adam, yeah. if you if you buy it, I will model it. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't you think we got to have at least twenty bucks for this? I, yeah, I think uh, yeah. This one, uh, what, what we and, and again, all the items that we've kind of priced is about half the price of what you can find the similar item on on eBay. So all the prices that that we've kind of put together uh, are actually uh, you know pretty pretty fair. Uh, I think you know. Twenty bucks yeah. for for this would be would be would be would be a good good number. Appropriate. Ed five went straight in at twenty bucks. Okay. So let's do Ed five at twenty bucks because he just beat out JD. JD. Hey JD. Good to see you, man. Are we still on for Japan? Yes, he is. Good old JD. May second tickets go on sale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, when I was a kid, I remember having um, a Darth Vader uh, costume like this, and you know, with the plastic mask and the and the kind of front tie to your body. Oh, yeah. There you go. I I remember those days uh, for sure. Did you? Have, right, well, what did you have this one? Did it have so it has. <laughs> Oh, uh, no, that one, that one looks a little newer than mine. That looks like cloth. It is mine, cloth. And, then, mine, and then basically it comes with a large cape, uh, as you can see, uh, mm. very, very large cape. So that one is in, in, if anybody wants it, uh, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's loose, no box, loose, no box, which loose, means, no box. which means less. Anybody wants that little Vader costume? 
All right, what's next there, buddy? Let's should we go, uh, what should we go? Should we go, so go some vintage? Let's do it. Let's put some vintage up there. What about You're not some mini rigs? How All right. You, how about the mini rigs? People? Mini rig roundup here. Now, all of these mini rigs are complete, correct? They are complete. Yeah, Immaculate condition. Boxes are in, are in shape, fantastic yeah. condition. I think one of the mini rigs, which is the radar laser cannon coming up, uh, that is still sealed. Uh, these ones are open, but yeah, everything is complete. The booklets, anything that was originally with the item is still is still in there. Nice. So we have quite a few mini rigs. Okay. PDT eight Empire Strikes Back. Could we get so, a could we get a twenty five for this? Well, we had uh, so just to kind of give it, we had eighty bucks on on that originally. So negotiable, okay. but, but that's 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 that was the that was kind of what we uh, we had on the uh, on the PD eight. Oh, that's not even creased. No, it's not. Okay. Well, there's a light a light crease. That looks fantastic. So yeah, I guess. I guess I was a little light on that. It's kind of one of the more expensive ones. Uh, this one uh, is coming in now, so I'll, I'll kind of just put them up. Um, we have the MLC three that was at, at fifty bucks. Uh, got a little bit of a, a litho tear there from where the price sticker was, and again a little litho tear actually on on the original one where where price stickers was removed. Uh, again, fantastic condition. Yeah with book, book booklets so we have the pda we have the mlc i'll grab some more with what i'm doing this we have an absolutely uh this was uh immaculate desert skip zero crease zero zero crease on this one this was actually uh we put price of a hundred bucks on this one okay yeah that one's it that is one, that it one is, is a hundred dollar item it is absolutely pristine on the on the um on the skiff trenton says he's got 70 for both of the empire strikes back ones what do you think about that well hang on because we have more empire strikes back so let's uh let's just uh let's just uh that's the mtb7 okay empire strikes back that one has got like uh, a, a slip down there. Uh, yeah. it's, it's still sealed. It's still not sealed. It's uh, it has literally come apart. Um, so there's that Empire Strikes Back one, and then just to kind of finish, I think Empire Strike. No, no, no. Sorry. So we've got. Um, oh boy, that one. That was a popular Cap, one. Cap two. We had eighty bucks on on that one. For the Empire Strikes Back Cap 2. Yeah. Um, 90 on the skiff. 90 on the skiff. Let's do it. Okay. Who was that? Ed, Ed 5. Shipping. He was, now he, he was robbed on the uh, on the quiz this last weekend um the uh remember shipping will be calculated after after the stream we'll do whatever actual shipping is these prices don't include um but if you buy more than one thing we will put them all in the same box for you we will do that so okay so the uh skiffs off the board and let me let me look at the uh, comments here so those are all the empire. Okay. Those are empire. Um, so Trenton, go ahead and comment again, which ones you were talking about. Um,
Yeah. Georgie remember... making Stuart sit on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're just little. They're just small little things. They're only, they're, they're they're only little. They're, they're mini. They're mini. Uh... I've actually got my favorite coming up, but uh, it's kind of, it, yeah, it's, I think uh, the ISP-6 from Return of the, Return of the Jedi. That's, oh, yeah. That's, that's a, a cool classic. One. Yeah. Um, all right. Let, let's uh, let's leave these up here for another minute. Um, I don't think we have an indoor ranger. I but, went to uh, the UK. That sold for what was it? Was four hundred and fifty? I think it was uh, that that ended up going to the UK. We did have the power of the force. Um, the three of them. They both. They all sold for I think one thousand two hundred, which was uh, kind of kind of nice. Those are nice. That's a good. Those were those were nice. Those are, those so are uh, Trenton yeah. said PDT eight and MLC for for seventy. Yeah, PD eight. I think those are the top two. You down with that? Seventy five, and it's a deal. Oh, it's okay. Seventy five. We're countering seventy five. You okay with that, Trent? Give an affirmative. If you are, and we'll, uh, we'll we'll throw it in a box for you. Yeah, these are all in. Uh, um, hey, Connor. Um, in the in their original Empire boxing, I know they were released in Return of the Jedi boxing as well. But uh, so, just in case, Trent you. says deal. Trent right, says deal. Good. Thank you, Trent. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate you. Um, okay, let's. Um, Trent, I'm not sure I have your email, so if you wouldn't mind, like, I've got uh, I got Trenton's you address. Have Trent? Yeah, okay. I, I okay. have that. Um, he's he's bought from us before, so thank Excellent. you, Trenton. We love yes. Trenton. <laughs> he's my uh, he. Yeah, I'm I'm in uh, Stu's quiz on Sunday and. Trenton's in my group, and uh, oh boy, as a com are you competing against him or with him? I don't think so. He's he's a pretty masterful of the old quiz. Um, so, which was the cap five? There's did cap five? Is that still up there? That's the Bosque one. That's the one featuring our man Bosque. Oh, that one. Yeah, it's it's, it's a real beauty. Yeah, you're gonna have to get a, just a little better on that one. Seven, uh, 70 and you got a deal and that's a pretty good deal for that. <laughs> I think Connor's supposed to be at NEC right now, but I think he got kicked out. <laughs> uh, oh, geek strong. You can go broke while you drive. That's no big deal. Five for the in for Gary sees you into the semifinals. <laughs> <laughs> I see what's oh. happening here. I'll let you make that call. You're the one competing. Do we have some Return of the Jedi mini rigs? <laughs> yeah, let's. All right, uh, let's let's put them up. Let's put them up. And if you think about these and later later so, they seem a little uh, more like a buyer's remorse for not getting it, FOMO, then go ahead and uh, hit us up. So this is the, the radar, radar laser cannon. This is a uh, mint and sealed box, never been opened, uh, still sealed. Um, yeah, nice. Still, still tape sealed on, on both ends. Um, and we, yeah. Hello, Luke. Welcome to the chat. What do we got on this, Gary? We put, we said a hundred, but again, negotiable. I mean, it is okay. mint and sealed, and never been open. So yeah, that matters. That matters. matters. Anybody up for that? Hit us up. And I'll grab the other. I'll grab the other Return of the Jedi ones when I'm when I'm here. So kind of there's the ISP six. That's again zero zero crease on that beautiful mm. box. Wow. Beautiful, and that's yeah. a fun one. That's a little mini 
uh, shuttle Tiderian. Response. Yep, absolutely. And eighty bucks. Eighty bucks on the uh, radar dish. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's do it, JD. Nice, JD. JD. Cool. Nice pickup. Uh, and we have so uh, this is the what is it the AST five again. Um, no crease. Mint. Box. Yeah, these are these are slick, man. I had the um, AST eight when I was a kid. I got it after watching Return of the Jedi when I was six years old. I remember this vividly. Ninety bucks for the ISP. Sold. Sold. Is that Ed Five again? Yeah. Oh man, Ed. Super. Okay. Any for the AST? That weird looking thing. And as with all Gary and Andy auction bid items, free items are thrown in. So Ed, <laughs> Ed, Ed, you get a be, little. Be on the lookout for some extras in your in your in your box. So. No more Starbirds, Geek Strong. We had one, and it is now in <laughs> North Carolina. <laughs> uh, okay, let's... Uh, no loving on the AST-5. Yeah, we'll, we'll put it back on the shelf. You might see that on a Facebook group near you Yeah. soon. Or eBay. <laughs> <laughs> or eBay. Hey, we got 49 watching right now. Thanks for showing up, guys. Um, it's good to see you guys. I think I recognize everybody that's uh, chatting right now. Um, okay, let's say vintage. Okay. Uh, oh, yes. So <clears throat> we have two of these, uh, two droid factories. Uh, both are complete uh, with the R2 unit. One of the R2 units is sticker-free. So it is, uh, it is a bold, bold r2d2 the other one has sticker so yeah so it does the stickerless one have the sticker and it's no. not on it or it's just no. not it no have it's sticker. it's it's a naked r2 okay <laughs> all right both, guys both, both sets are complete gone complete. through meticulously and and found all the pieces and put them back in the right areas yeah you did so is this the one with the r2 sticker this one is the one with the R2 sticker. So yes. it's going to be worth a little bit more. What's the number on this one? What did we put on this one? Uh, no sticker sheet, Bosk. It's just that the sticker has been applied to the R2. Um, it is complete. Um, so we had 150 was the, the target price for this 150 complete. I think the only price. thing that's missing on the box is the, the POP. So the box, which is in great shape, is missing the pop, but it is a complete droid factory, including. Yeah, yeah dude, VTR Dave says 120 with the sticker R2. Done. I'm good with that too. Add a baby VTR. Might as well put up the other one too there, Gare. And this is with the... Uh, Nude R2. <laughs> <laughs> the little things. The little things. So we got another one. We'll go. We'll we'll put this one at 120. How about that? I think that sticker's worth 30 bucks. What did we just we just sold this one for 120, right? Yeah. Okay. But we were asking 150 and negotiated to 120. We did. Correct. Yeah, Dave, I think that's a very good price for for that. I think that sells quite a bit 
for more. So cool set what, as well. You you actually look at the the functionality of the the Droid Factory. It's one of those play sets that you can obviously comes with the blueprints. You can build all the different droids. Kind of a fun set. Yeah. Really. It's as close to uh, Lego as Kenner got, I think, because you, you can swap out parts and make a bunch of different things, build different droids. And... G-Force came, came in at 80. Yeah. 80 with the naked R2. Do 100 and you got it, G-Force. John, you can uh, – it's Cheers, kind of like – just to recap here, we're, we'll put some things up, put a price on it. You can agree to it. You can negotiate. Feel free. Once you claim it, then we'll get a hold of you uh, once we've got a shipping quote. And then that's when we will accept payment. Okay. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to, we, we, you know, there's no, no trust, not in this, uh, in, in this. We will send the items and we'll collect payment afterwards. We're, 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 we're a great community. So. Yeah, there's no there's no issues there. So that's true, Geek Strong. Some of the uh, droids that you could build in the factory could be seen in the Mandalorian. Ah, that's it. There you go. Fun fact. Fun fact. Fun fact. Andy, I'll pay the extra twenty G Force Chief uh, for G Force. For, that was from Connor, right? Yeah. Yep. So G Force with an assist. And Connor is going to get that droid factory. Awesome. Look at that. Connor, stand-up guy. That's awesome. Yeah, that is awesome. Bravo. I always thought they hated each other, but I guess not. <laughs> oh, baby. Yeah, again. Complete with instructions? Complete with instructions. Uh, with a pop? Without a pop. I would I would say I would say ninety-nine percent sure that it's without pop. Let me just check. You can see without pop. I see. Box is still great. Great condition. Yeah. What's what's the number on this, Gary? We did have a hundred on this one. I think that is a solid price right there. That box art's great too. Another 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 fun item. Anybody got to have this? Anybody missing this playset in their Empire Strikes Back lineup? <laughs> Shit, now Connor owns 20% of my droid factory. Yeah, that's uh that's the world you live in now, G Force. Right. He owns you. All right. <laughs> we should probably stay Empire Strikes Back. Got some more Empire Strikes Back coming up coming at you. Yeah. Okay, that doesn't look like much love for the, the turret probot playset. Yeah, just put it in the background and put the next thing in front of it. All just right. Just to keep that there. Well, I think I have somebody's thinking about it a little bit. I don't want to pull it quite yet. This is oh baby. Oh yeah, baby. This is this is pristine. Yeah, it looks so good. It really is. It doesn't seem like from 1980, I tell you. It's, uh... Man, it looks brand new. <laughs> what the actual? Yep, absolutely, Ed. <laughs> it's a nice piece. Yeah. There you go, Tim. Top right corner. Love the cupboard set. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it's the little things. Shells put in to store Star Wars stuff. Does this box have the pop on it? 
No, I don't nope. believe so. I think the pop is missing as, as normal. Um, yep, you can see the pop is missing. Okay, so it's missing the pop. Other than that, just a really nice. The uh, hey, Kevin. Um, so we said a hundred for the Probot and Turret set. What's this one? We had a hundred and fifty on it, but yeah. They, yeah, that seems both are negotiable. Yeah, those crazy pop cutters. Well, the, both uh, they used to send those little suckers off and get other stuff. Yeah, I get some mail away, <laughs> mail away items. But I will say this: the guys that cut these pops out sure left the boxes in great shape. I would not have. No, these these guys did so incredibly displayable. So. Yeah, this one, this one probably should go in an acrylic box. To be fair, it's it is that 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 nice. And Ian's displays does a fantastic set of acrylic cases, which, uh, yeah, really really set these things off. Ed five one twenty. Ed, let's do it. Okay. Hoth Ice Planet. It's going to be the largest box ever sent to Australia. Oh my goodness, I already shudder at the shipping. Actually, Australia is not too bad, and you can get insurance. <laughs> ah, okay. Well, that's good. Our friend Adam Lynch has bought a significant amount of the product that we've shipped to Australia. So that's super cool. Well done. Right, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Okay. Empire Strikes Back Imperial Cruiser. And this is the Sears exclusive version of this toy. Um, boxes again in good shape. Gary, does this one have the pop? This one has the pop. Lovely. This one's got the pop. If you recall, the Sears version of the Imperial Troop Transport does not make the sounds. Okay, this is the batteryless version of this toy. Um, <clears throat> but again, revived in the Mandalorian. Um, season two uh yeah the imperial troop transport back in the uh in the in the limelight again just just to kind of oh and there's the kenner version that with the sounds now that one has been claimed correct that one has been claimed that's uh rob rob retro uh, has claimed that one for himself That's right, VTR it is. Yeah, so the the, the, the decals are a little different. That's that's one with the note that's has the battery electronics to it. Does that have the harnesses? It has the harnesses, yeah. Oh. Two of them? Mm, one in that one. Okay. So that's oh, a no, loose one. That's the that's a spare seat. That's not a that's not a harness. Oh yeah, that's the, that turns the yeah. dish there. All right. Anyway, that that's not the one in, inside. The one inside's got a little different sticker. The battery cap is still there, but it's orange instead of red. Um. Yeah, the door decals are a little different. So. What do we think, guys? Anybody want to throw a number on it? What did we say? 120? 100? Yeah, yeah one, 120. Geek Strong, if you want to do 50 for the loose one. Be okay with that. What do you think?
This one does have the proof of purchase intact. Gary, any chance you could take that out real quick and just show it? Did anybody have a troop transport when they were a kid? Like, this was not something I was aware of until I was, you know, probably in my 20s. Because uh, I, I never knew anybody that had one. I, it was completely foreign to me. So as always, instruction booklets, uh, the, the, the other little booklets that came with it, either Empire Strikes Back and the collection series. Yeah. The uh, the loose version is the is the electric version, not the Sears exclusive. So uh, here's the seat, and here's one restraint. And number two restraint. So yeah, I, I do believe they came with two head restraints. Two restraints. Decals applied. Decals applied. Seat for the for the top. Awesome. So the battery cover or the, the kind of cover at the top is, uh, is also a different color. It's, uh, this one is orange and yellow and red. Just yeah. Yeah. The decals are a little different. The battery covers are a different color. So, all right. I don't think there's any takers on this one. No worries. Not a problem. Let's uh let's get something weird for the next one, Gary. Weird. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, nobody in the chat's ever had one of these when they were a kid. All right. I love this and I've got All right, Gary tell, tell them what it is. I'll I'll hold off here. Darth Vader speakerphone. A Darth Vader speaker phone. I've only ever seen one before, and that was actually at a, in a, a New York antique store. So I, be, I believe Geek Strong has one of these. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And as luck would have it, I also have one of these. But be, in the spirit of getting things out of garages, it is currently in my garage. And I will put mine up as well. So essentially, we have two of these Darth Vader speaker phones. You have a cord, I see, that will uh, actually plug it into a wall. Yeah. Um, and, and I have the cord for mine as well. Uh -huh. In fact, my cord is long. Like you could pick it up and walk around a little bit on a leash. Unfortunately, um, I have a short cord. <laughs> My, my leash is longer than yours, Gary. Yeah. <laughs> um, what do we got for this? 20 bucks? I think, uh, yeah, I think it, yeah, I think it was uh, 25, but 20 sounds good also. Okay. And I'll put mine up. It is in a similar condition for 20 bucks as well. You can, you can negotiate for one or both of these if you like. See, Danielle's just slapped her face. Yeah, she's reminded me that my cord is shorter than yours. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know about that, Gary. <laughs> you can certainly not walk around the room. Yeah, just yeah. I Geek Strong's got a good idea. Why don't we? Why don't we all call each other on the speakerphone? That'd be fun. at five sold for 20 all right throw it in remember we've got one more of these if anybody wants to jump on <laughs> jump on a darth vader speaker phone they're wild okay put it in the box put it in the box all right rob's retro wants the other one got him rob you get mine So these are these are these are interesting. Um, 
You're going to have to tell me what those are. When you showed me the picture of them, I, I wasn't familiar. So West End Games, it's a Star Wars, Star Warriors, and it's uh, some kind of uh, adventure game. And Is it like a computer game? No. Um, bum, 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 bum. Let, me get, uh, let me get another one. We do have two of these, right? We have three, and oh. all three are still in the cellophane wrapper. Okay. Nice. These have never been opened. No, we've got yeah. three of them. So it's like a it's like an adventure game where you have like a um, a star system mapped out in kind of hexagons, and you have pieces that move around. It's a strategy game. Um, so this is this is for the Star Wars board game fan, right? Yeah. It's kind of strange looking on eBay. I was very, very surprised to see what these are going for. Um, these are actually going for 80 bucks. Uh, oh boy. So, uh, so and we've uh, got three of them. We got three of them. Yeah. So there is three opportunities, three opportunities to get yourself a Star Wars, Star Warriors game. All right. Well, Scott Whitehouse. Oops. That's not Scott. He's doing a little promo here. Still got the Star Warriors, great game, space battle, board game. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for the plug. I think there was three in the three in the entire series. Uh, so they, they released three different types of this game. Um, and yeah, we've got three of the one, not, not three different ones, three of the same. Nice. Nice. Any takers on those? What's the number we're putting on them? They're going on eBay for 80 bucks. We will take less than that. We said, we said 40 bucks a pop, but if not, they're going on eBay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh. So it's kind of, it's, there's a bit of a, a bit of an oddball on this one because uh, we have the, uh, we have the, the front, it's still in the cellophane. And for some reason, the back is upside down. Hmm. Only on that one. Interesting. Yeah, just a weird one. It's a variant. Nice. This patch, yeah, this one is up the right way. You can see the you So can see. does is this mean the board game has a variant? <laughs> is that is that the right way? And well, I like the box art school. And number three, it's down under. Interesting. The Australian version. Must be. All right, pull them, Gary. We got oh. no nibbles. Zero interest. Geekstrong wants to know if we've got a Chewbacca Bandolier figure holder. Yes, we do. All right, put it up. Well, now, now we have to start. Oh. JD wants one of those boxes. Does he want the Australian version or the normal one? <laughs> Clarify in the comments, please, JD. <laughs> Agree, Adam. That box art is slick. He wants the Australian one. So, so which one does he want? Does he want the Australian one? Yes. Yes, he does. He does. There you go. All right, JD. It'll probably kill him, but as most things in Australia will. <laughs> JD. Star Wars Frisbee. And for all you disc golf fans out there. A tenor would probably grab that. Okay, here we go. The Chewbacca Bandolier figure strap. Box is in great shape as per usual. Now, 
this is something a long time ago that we featured on our show just for fun. But the kid on the back, hold that, hold a picture up of that kid. He looks pumped to be walking around with a figure full, a, ba a bandolier full of figures. Uh, that's so good. Is the pop on the bottom? It is. This one would, is. Yeah. Would we take 50 bucks for it? That's what we put it mark, marked it as. Excellent. Sold Geek Strong. With the bandolier. Well, that was quick. Awesome. Congrats, buddy. <laughs> Shabby as a kid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Geek Strong, you're going to need probably four or five bandoliers looped together to get it around that Herculean chest of yours. I thought you were talking about the bicep, just the bicep. Oh, yeah, just oh, where, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's probably more realistic. That's a super cool pickup. That's that's a really cool item. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations. To me, that was something that was always like, that's a cool idea. Now, the, the foam probably is either partially or completely disintegrated, but those things were, those things were sweet. Okay, here we go. Bundle, bundle deal. A Micro Machines, Star Wars, Empire Strikes Back, Return of the Jedi bundle. Micro Machines. With lots of glare. So in the uh, Return of the Jedi, you get an AT, ST, the Katana, and a B-Wing. In the Star Wars, you get the Falcon, the Star Destroyer, and an X-Wing. And in the uh, Empire Strikes Back, it's the uh, TIE Fighter, at, at and Snowspeeder. It's a full set, so... What do we have on, on, on these? I think it was a $30 bundle, I think. It was a $30 but a lot. What does Kevin Cox have? Kevin Cox wanted to know if uh, we had any other bandoliers. Uh huh. Um, not not, today, not in this lot, but not I lot. but I do that I can um, move on from. So we'll chat later, Kev. Sound good? Any takers for the micro machines? Ed, we're going to do 30 for the lot. Yeah. We reject your offer of $40 and, and we, we are accepting 30. Gary, um, Geek Strong want, wanted to ask what the foam situation was on the bandolier. Is it brittle? Is there anything there? Do you want me to open the box and find out? I, I would rather not open the box. I've never taken out of the box, but if you want me to open the box, I just hope I can get the... the... You can, you'll be able to tell very quickly the condition of the foam. Um, I think if the box has been opened, yes, open it. Open in the box. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's do this. This is, this is pressure. This is high drama is what it is. One. Okay. Piece. Yeah. Those are, there are two of those in there. Two pieces. Yes. Yes, Kevin, it does have a box with it. But I'll take some pictures and send it to you. Oh, foam is in good condition. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that. 
Oh my goodness. That's that amazing. Th those are, that is, I've probably seen 10 or 15 mm -hmm. of these in my life. I have never seen one in that good a shape. Geek Strong, you, you scored, buddy. Unbelievable. You scored. Wow. One piece, uh, one or two. That is, yeah, it's it's two pieces that are, so it's out of the box now. It's, it's out of the box. That is, that is so oh, good. You see that one in the middle? Yeah. That's the only one that, that has some degradation. That is so good. That, that you, that foam is a, it's a petroleum based foam. And so it, it disintegrates over time and don't touch it. It'll, it'll be feel oily and slick, but, uh, yeah, they use that for the, um, Dagobah play set in the, uh, quicksand. They used it for the, um, the death star play set in the, in the garbage or the trash compactor and that, those things never last 40 years. And that is amazing. Sorry, tip tip of the hat to you, Geek Strong. You got yourself a, a nice little it, find. I mean, seriously, look, 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 look at the condition. I mean, it is like brand new. It is. It is. The spongy even feels spongy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, God, that's definitely. That's uh that's wearing around Friday night kind of bandolier now, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel wants you to put it on. Do not <laughs> put it on, Gary. Not, Do not, not put it on. It, I'm not putting it's it no on. longer yours. It is no longer mine. Yeah, that was really nice. That's a nice little surprise. Yeah. Thank you for letting me open in the box because uh, I would not have done that. So, and I got it back in the box. Look at that! What a pro! Fifty bucks. Nice job. Didn't Shabby pick up one of those, like super low cost at, at some kind of antiques fair? Yeah, I think he did. Actually, I don't think it was for much different than what we just sold ours for is like 40 or 50 bucks i want to say so oh, okay i thought he got it like for like 20 bucks or something <sighs> what about this fella what about it what about it oh yes this is cool this is one of my uh it, yeah this is cool i it can speak for itself this is empire strikes back Yoda hand puppet with the box. Yeah. With the box. Uh, let me just, I'm sure you can ask the same question with the pop. The pop's the pop. there. Yeah. Hey, Lance. Now, folks in the chat, Lance played a role in Gary and I getting this, this lot. Um, Lance is a Twitter friend of mine on well, on X Twitter, and uh, he put us, he put me in touch with the owners of this who are friends of his, and he helped box it up and ship it from California to Chicago, where Gary and I met up and got to meet Lance. And uh, and he was kind of the middleman in all of this transaction. So, thanks again, Lance. This has been an amazing experience, and um. And yeah, he, he got to handle a lot of the goods and he saw them firsthand and, and, uh, and yeah, he's a, he is, he is a part of this story. So thanks for popping in Lance. It's good to see you, buddy. So we had a hundred on this and we're seeing bids of 35, 45, 40 bucks. Be nice to get a little bit higher than that on this one, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the box again is you know you can get a loose one for forty bucks um, all day long. In fact, I just sold one a couple weeks ago for forty bucks, yeah. and uh, and it was no without box, without box, without a box. So, um, we're getting there. Um, kid, what if be careful with that lightsaber? Have his eye out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah just a couple of kids having fun there uh, 
Yeah. And shoot, even the plastic on that box is in good shape. Um, we got a we got a seventy dollar bid. It's sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents from Ed Five. Rob Rob concedes he was going after the box. It sounds like so. So at sixty nine dollars and sixty nine cents, Ed Five claims another. Hello there, Lee. Yes, it is a cool Yoda. What about a five? There you go. Okay. All right, all you dads. Hang on. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> so this is this is from the '90s Power of the Force line. Uh, a, a true an Imperial blaster rifle, and as you can see, the sounds still work. What what's on this one, Gare? Twenty five. Twenty five bucks for your kids to run around shooting each other. I mean, that's what I would have done if I were a kid with one of these. I think there's Worth a funny story that, uh, that Danielle's brother had this and uh, it lasted about an hour before um, her father uh, accidentally stepped on it and broke it and it would no <laughs> longer, and it no longer worked. Um, <laughs> accidentally. Ac <laughs> accidentally on purpose. Uh, destroyed. Uh, that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, um, that's a good point there, G Force. These uh, these blasters from the '90s are great for uh, customizing. Uh, they're an inexpen inexpensive way to cosplay. Um, as a result, so these do have a little bit of application outside of you know kids running around blasting each other. Yeah. Oh. Put to one side. Now, what about an original retro collection? <laughs> okay. So, back in the 90s, if you were a, a vintage Star Wars collector, when these came out, there were a lot of collectors who were kind of ticked off about this. Did you see that? This is Danielle chiming in. Um, yeah. <laughs> the, now there there were vintage toy collectors in the 90s and for some reason i remember this it's not like there was the internet and you know people were bashing it online but uh these are are very very similar to the originals and that's what kind of got some people ruffled their feathers a little bit because they were uh, d uh the molds are darn near exactly the same and yeah. there are only some very very slight differences that you can find on like the imperial commissary um or if you own a red five designs book um you'd be able to tell vintage accessories from the ones in this box now they're very cool they're you know retros back in style again so um it's a small head hand as well, which is kind of funny, just so that it's not the uh, the giga giganta head and it's the small one. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what's the number on this, Gary? Is uh, what's John, John Lapos put 95. Uh, was that a bid for this? It, I think it has to be. Um, Okay, we can do better than that. We, in terms of, we can do better than that. So, uh, John, we can let that go for eighty bucks if you're if you're happy. Yeah, and that does include some uh, tops card yeah. trading cards in that in that set too, which I know appeals to some collectors as well. You're absolutely right there, Lance. And they're they're ninety ninety five is the year. Okay, I was gonna say. All right, that's. 
<laughs> yeah. It so little, close. It was a little higher than uh, I was yeah. expecting. That was a stand-up bid there, John. Oh, yeah. Well, no, just <laughs> straight in there with 95. You, you better be uh, be careful with those kind of numbers. Yeah. Um, yeah, it so if, if anyone's interested in this, uh, let us know. And, and uh, we can come back to it at another time. I'm actually glad that that one didn't go. <laughs> so it's Friday evening. We're doing a little toy stream. What's everybody drinking this evening? Anybody got a cocktail in their hands? I've got ice water here, but just okay, like in my we veins. Get any on that. I don't think we'll get any love on these ones, but these are the Bendems. The Bendems, the Star Wars Bendems? Yeah, these are eight packs. Eight packs. So we, you, are these the only ones we have, or do we have any others? So we have uh, two eight packs, two four packs, and then all of the singles. <laughs> um. Put all the bendems up. Let's do a, a bendem lot. Let's do a bendem lot. I feel like if if somebody wants some bendems, they're gonna get all of them. So this was the two eight pack. Okay, so they're so exactly the same. They are, they are identical. Then you have. Two four packs, but the four packs are actually different. This one's actually gone a yellow blister. Um, so this one's Ben Kenobi, Leia, Han, C3PO, and this one is C3PO, R2D2, Stormy, and Vader. And then you have Vader, Stormy. Love it. Luke, Thrippio, R2, you're probably getting pretty close to the screen right now, uh, Yoda, Leia, Chewie, and then one that's not on any of the backs of the cards. So that was, I think that was eight in total. But then there's Ben Kenobi. Nice. All right. Let's 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 figure out if we can get rid of all of these in one shot. Is there anybody that would put a number for the, for the whole lot? dark times yeah stuff like this is all it's all we had you know in the 90s in between the ot and the pt and the se's that's right they do come with a tops card they're individual to the figure as well so the uh there is an exclusive or bonus um yeah star wars galaxy card in each one of them it's the tops so lance is right yeah and Ed, yeah, there's eight, eight, which is 16, and then two fours, which is another eight, 24, and then another eight, 32, <laughs> 35 in total. Wouldn't know where to begin pricing with a bendum. So, just to give you the kind of heads up, I was put in five bucks a piece on individuals. If they were, if you were buying a four pack, you got it for 15 bucks. And if you were buying an eight pack, I think it was d d d d d 30 bucks. 30 bucks. So five, 15, and 30. But understand the bendums are bendums. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 100%. This could be going on eBay. Um, <laughs> all right. This is funny. I got a text message from my son. He's downstairs. He's out of toilet paper. I have to leave for real quick. 
Tell it, tell it to bend them. No, 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 don't, don't do that. <laughs> All right, let me take these bendums down and we'll get something else up in the, is there any requests in, in, in the, uh, in the chat for anything that you'd like to see, whether it's vintage, whether it's new school, uh, still got some vintage items. I'd love to see some toys. All right, toys, toys. Okay, let's have a look at some toys. Uh, bendums are going down. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. So there was a request for some toys, and I don't know if this this kind of hits that criteria. These are the action suit. Crisis averted. Crisis averted. <laughs> so there are. Six of these action fleet, pretty cool. Come, each come with two mini mini picks. So you've got an ATAT. You've got the Imperial Shadow with uh, Chewie and Han. Uh, there is a Tie Fighter with two uh, Darth Vader uh, and that's Darth Vader's Tie Fighter with Tie Fighter and Vader, and we've got an A Wing with an A Wing pilot and C three PO. And then we've also got a snow speeder um, with uh, Luke and Rebel, oh, Rebel Gunner in, in that uh, Butch or whatever his name is, Dak, Dak Relter. And then we've got an X Wing with Luke and R2. Now, these have kind of come back in the, uh, in the market a little bit, bit in the last couple of years. So, uh, yeah, if there's any of those that are calling to you, then, uh, yeah, let us know. Somebody put, uh, what who did uh, Geek Strong put up there? Can you? He's, he said he needs the remote, but I think he's talking about either the sand crawler or something else. Does he mean one of these? Yes, he, I, I think he is. I think because I put a picture up of. Oh, you know. oh, there goes the. Uh, that is, can you believe that that sells for a the nine uh, hundred bucks? Is yeah, the, the battery cap for the remote. Yeah. It'll sell for more than that. Jeez, Louise, it's crazy. Hundred bucks for an end cap on a, a remote. All right, doesn't uh, JD sixty for all six? I was trying to see what I actually wrote down for it, but I uh, I can't see it. So, deal. Okay, JD, bravo, buddy. Put it in the box. Okay. Good. I had 80 bucks, so there you go. You got a you got a deal. <laughs> Gary, there were uh, a couple of questions if uh about the uh tops cards. Yeah. Let's let's grab those next. Since we've got a little interest in them. When you say tops cards, mm, you you sent me a picture of a of a box. Uh-huh. That's just the box. A red box. Okay. An mm -hmm. empty box. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. So I put a couple of boxes up. JD, those are those are pretty mighty cool, actually. They're gonna be they're gonna be tough to ship, but they are super cool. Uh okay. So this is an interesting one. This is this is this is a this is a beaut. Uh, this is Return of the Jedi, and it's the photo button box. 
and it is absolutely pristine. Are, and, are, are there buttons in it? And there are buttons in it. That's cool. <laughs> so we have a couple of Max Rebos, Imperial Guard, Demorian Guard, uh, Return of the Jedi badge. So yeah, there's there's a there's a few of the buttons that, that, that came in the box. And then there's a stormy pin and another pin. Yeah. But uh, again, just a that's a super cool box. Return of the Jedi. Nine yeah, that was a that was like a that's a box for display that was put next to the cashier, and you could grab you could buy buttons as you pay it out, you know. So that's that's sharp there. So a box with some some original buttons and a and a couple non original buttons that came in that. Yeah, so th these buttons would look good on your jean jacket. And then so we had forty bucks on this. Okay. That was, that what we that was what we were expecting. But okay. So I see that Ed came in with fifteen. 30 and you got it. We'll throw it in your box. And while while we're looking at that kind of thing, we're kind of just staying Jedi. These are these are pretty cool, pretty cool items. These are 1983 uh, keychain. Oh yeah. So these were these were these go for a pretty penny on on eBay. So we I've kind of put twenty five each or forty for the pair on these two. Super heavy, uh, Vader and R two, still sealed in plastic. About twenty five for the button box. Twenty five for the button box. Add five, right? Yep. You want to hold those keychains close? Yep. Just so we can get a, a better look at it. Okay, so those are like a bronze keychain. They're, they're like, a, yeah, they're definitely like a gold gold color um very very heavy those will last yeah they are super cool <laughs> adam wants to know if we've sold enough to get you back um from the garage into the couch no, and how much is it gonna take drinking here Danielle brought me a beer. She said, enjoy the garage. You've not sold enough yet. Uh, That's. <laughs> is... <laughs> We're just trying to get him to the couch, guys. All right. Let's just right. get him there first. And uh... Cheers, my dears. <clears throat> yeah, the keychains are, are pretty cool. I got another couple of items that are like this that, that, that are worth kind of just showing. Again, Return of the Jedi, and they're super cool. They're night lights. Oh, yeah. That's Pl awesome. Plug it in at your peril. <laughs> 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 but uh, so we got Yoda and we've got we got we got Vader. Those are cool. What are we asking for the night lights? The night lights, night lights, night lights. We're on the other side, I'm sure of it. Right. 
Should have done this in some kind of 15 for the pair. Okay. Reasonable. For the pair. Geek Strong, what are you trying to say there? 10, you yeah, drive. I wasn't sure what that was saying. So. Oh, Yoda. Yeah. We got we got 10 for the Yoda for Geek Strong. Well, Geek Strong now owns the Yoda Nightlight. He's just said 15. That means he's got a pair. <laughs> okay. You got you got them both. Um one of the nice things about this and gary and i were talking about this earlier is that as far as the uh you know we made this purchase it was a larger purchase um but we've already we've we've already decided on what we're keeping um and from some of the items that we've sold already we're square so there's the pressure is off on our end so we're happy to uh you know, do what we're doing here, negotiate some prices and, and, and let things go for under market eBay value. So, um, yeah, this is, uh, this is where it gets fun for us. It is. So there was no love on the keychains, right? Nope. Nothing on the keychains. Hey Jeff, glad you could make it. So this is, uh, this is, I think this is the box that you were talking about. It's literally just an empty box. Okay. So a, I'm not sure in, this one this one is a little bit different because we actually have uh one of the things that I kept was a, a full uh, Empire Strikes Back, but it's a different size box. So I don't know if this was a display one for a shop. Uh it, it kind of folds up and kind of has a display. So I think this was um not your standard box for the for the cards. It's a different size. Uh, I don't know if it was just a display for, for like you say, on a on a sh shelf or on a next to the counter. Uh, it folds up, and it's just basically an empty box for the Star Wars one. Uh, sorry, Empire Strikes Back. So, um. Well, par for the course. It's in great shape. If you're a if you're a tops collector, I mean, this is probably something that doesn't. Uh, come across your lap every day what uh what are we thinking on it not much i think we had it 15 bucks i think it was yep reels box lance you want 10 you got 10 on it lance yep let's do that sweet that's a good deal buddy Again, it's one of those ones where you know if, if you want it, you you you, you kind of kind of got it. Got to have it. Got to have it. What about doing some power of the force stuff? Just quickly, just go through through some of these. These are real. These are real kind of. If you want it, they're kind of cool. This is the uh, purchase of the droids. Power of the force. So C okay. C three PO, uh, Lars Owen, and uh, Luke Skywalker. And we we put these to the, the, the droids ten bucks, super quick, in terms of a claim sale ten bucks on the purchase of the droids Power of the Force. Okay, let's let's run through a few of these Power of the Force, and then just to give a little expectation, we'll do the uh, Sand Crawler here pretty quick. Okay, sounds good. Power of Force droids ten bucks G Force. G Force got it. G Force. 10 bucks. Love it. So let's. let's, let's uh, G say, perfect. Uh, let's do uh, Steel Sealed Ronto. Uh, oh, Ronto wow. was for 20 bucks. So Ronto is the. Um, yeah, it's a special edition. That's type. right. The yeah. one as they come into the cantina. Jumps up the uh, the little uh, Jawa goes for a, goes goes for a swing. 
20 bucks on this one 20 bucks on this Bosk wants to know if we have any legacy collection no I'm, I'm not sure we do yeah i don't i don't think we do no i i even kept the power of the force and, and other stuff for maybe another stream uh so uh we could have a look but uh yeah not 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 on this stream mm. so did Ed five do 20. yep it's yours ed <laughs> Actually, I have this one on display. It's it's probably one of the best power of the force. Yeah, in my opinion. It's a cool one for sure. All right. What about uh, Emperor Palps with his force effect or lightning effect? Mm, yes. Electronic power effects. Uh, what do we have on this? This was Emperor Palps. 10 bucks on palps 10 bucks on power on palpatine with lightning effect <clears throat> and we've had up to uh 71 here in the in the stream wow awesome guys yeah right g force 10 bucks <laughs> you got it g that is super cool especially on a easter friday happy easter everybody that's right today is good friday yeah good friday it is a good friday it is a great friday Another it reminds me uh, it reminds me of the black crows you know that band gary the, the black crows? they have a song called good friday it's a good song you guys should listen to it who was it the black crows Okay, I've heard of the Black Crows. Yeah, they're a 90s rock and roll kind of maybe a little alternative band. So on the Stap, 10 bucks. The Stap. And that's that's uh what like maybe about 8 to 10 inches tall. That's that's a little yeah, bit bigger. Yeah, it's, it's a decent size. Got one of the uh the droids on the on the back, Roger Roger. Yeah. Actually, that's his name. <laughs> Everybody's agreeing with you. Great tune. Great tune. It is. Great tune. This was an episode one sneak peek. So I don't, this was, this, this actually toy came out even before uh, the movie was released. Or, uh, or 10 bucks, 10 bucks on the stap. Who said that? Who do you think? At five. I'm gonna have to have a shipping container to Australia, not a freaking <laughs> put it in a suitcase and hand deliver it. Yeah. I'm on my way, Ed. <laughs> All right, what about what about this one? Um Okay. This one due to yep, never opened. Due, due to the Mandalorian, this has gotten popular again for customization um and so where you could get these for 40 bucks in the past you know un, unopened they're now hovering around 100 bucks all day long and so what do what do we want to uh let this go for gary 75 is what we had on it okay i think i think you won't find a better deal that's me making a sales pitch here <laughs> Danielle says you weren't much alternative in the '90s. What were you, Gary? I was pop. I was, uh, yeah. It was, it was uh, an interesting time in the '90s. Ele electronic, uh, you know, bit of a dance, bit of a rave kind of thing going on. Uh, <laughs> none of that alternative stuff. There was uh, the the mosh pit was not definitely not my scene. If anybody jumped into me, they would probably um, get a swift. Um, <laughs> foot in the rear yeah uh yeah. yeah yeah wasn't that wasn't my scene it's kind of funny because that was danielle's scene so she was a mosh head she was the definitely into all of that stuff and love yeah. it now anybody 75 on the naboo starfighter never been opened excellent box all right 
Yep, it is still. <laughs> I suppose that TVC will be releasing one now that we've got the uh, the the Mandalorian, right? So. Uh, 50 from Skywalker's Academy. What about we meet in the middle? 60. 60. That's not even in the middle. That's on your half. 60 Skywalkers. Hey, TBC, TBC Mackin. How you doing, my friend? I'll just write something down. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's gone quiet. It I'm is. still I'm still writing. Yes. <laughs> okay. He he's standing on 50. He can't he can't do it. Ooh. So close. <laughs> uh. All right, we'll take we'll take the uh, we'll take it away. We'll take the temptation away. Okay, okay. Oh, he says sixty works. Sixty works. It's sold. Skywalker got it. I'm pumped. See, I knew I'd, I'd, I'd super lucky there because uh, Ed Five came in with sixty five right afterwards as well. So. Good thing, Skywalker. Good thing. Just in the nick of time. All right, we're going to do one of these big ones now. We're going to do the sand crawler. If, if you say so, this is going to be a hard one to, uh, yeah. <laughs> because you don't want to let it go? No, I don't want to let this go. <laughs> All right, you guys heard it. It's got to be, the price has to be right for this to leave Gary's garage. This is, yeah, this, 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 with, with, hey, no, with no HasLab sand crawler um this this is your kind of next best thing so uh right so full disclosure um the the remote um the oh i was gonna say yeah it, it the aerial comes out um it slots back in uh it has the battery cover um it does not have the shoot Okay, so there's no droid shoot. Open that up. There is no ladder. And there is no ladder. So it, it is it missing has, uh, a couple of things. It has the it has the battery cover. Okay. Uh, it has one broken hinge on the on the right hand side, and the other one is not in, in amazing condition. That's why it generally doesn't uh, Get, get open but full disclosure um yeah it, uh, okay what about the uh, top there into the drivers do we have some decals in there oh yeah all decals are are, are in okay that's good all right actually that decal on the top of the lid there yeah goes to the droid chute so that decal is present. <laughs> that one there is uh, the droid chute? Yeah, that goes on the droid chute. So so it looks like a complete set of decals, but it's missing the ladder, missing the droid chute. That noise is driving me nuts, Gary. Yeah. Um, and I uh, I did put uh, I did put batteries in the in the sand caller. I did put batteries in the remote and uh, no bueno. No bueno. So do you think that that it's just a it just needs to be cleaned and the leads need to be freshened up a little bit or the batteries uh, i i think i i'm not i think it's the remote to be to be to be honest i, I, I okay. yeah I, it's another one that probably uh needs to go to vdr dave and he would restore it to to perfect condition i'm actually watching a uh shoot on ebay right now it is uh uh, an auction for a an original shoot um and right now it's at 11 bucks so there's no way that that's staying at 11 bucks but uh two days left 29 watchers so 
Okay, so the number on this, Gary, I know that the re I know because I had a sand crawler for many years without a remote. Remotes don't come up often with the battery cover or just in general. So this is one that's going to be this is one of our higher priced items for the evening. And by higher price, what were you thinking around 300 bucks? That's the number I put on it. Yeah. 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 And and to be honest, that's 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 a pretty fair number. Um, and Gary doesn't want to let it go. So there may so not no be bids. much wiggle room. <laughs> so no, <laughs> no bids. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. It's this is just a buy it now. 300 bucks. There you go. Nobody bid on it. I knew that that would be the case. <laughs> <laughs> We're not even considering a, ta a delay there. Uh, it, has, it has got all the stickers. So just yeah, literally the, the remote is, uh, it's a shame that the, uh, the, the piece does come out. Um, but it's in immaculate condition. Uh, generally the plastic is, 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 yeah. Is in, yeah well, that's super, no discoloration. Oh, man, this just should be. This should. Uh -oh. be, this should be. We got to This should. We got to take her. We got to take her. Bradley. Oh my, Mr. Van Diver, Rocket City <sighs> Stift. You're kidding me. Is, oh, is, that's he, he needs to confirm City. that he's taken it. Says Gary, I'll take it. He paid up today already. LOL. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's uh, he's actually going to be joining me for Rebel Cities uh, Con in uh, Dallas in June. He's coming down. We're going to okay. head up there. We got four four VIP day passes to the to the to the event in uh, late June. And so, yeah, I uh, I got him a ticket and he paid me today. You nice. broke me already. So is that he's retracted. He's, it is yes. Is he he was just kidding. <sighs> All right. Well, we'll give it. We'll give it a few more seconds here before we can <laughs> move on to the, <laughs> to the next thing. I still can't believe that the remote, uh, the, the the back of the remote goes for a hundred bucks. It's just craziness. So. I know. What's up, Saber? What's up, Gilster? There's, there's people still popping into the chat. There's seven. It's unbelievable. Again, awesome. thank, thank you guys. You you are you are just absolutely awesome to come and spend your Friday night. You know, talking, talking Star Wars toys <laughs> and spending an hour and forty five minutes with me yeah. and Andy just blows my mind. Um, yeah. You know, we're like a we're like a poor man ZSR. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we're. We're sixty six percent of that's right. GSR, not, not, you know? not even you know they've got uh, Jason Donovan, uh, <laughs> Kenny Rogers, that's right, uh, James Corden. <laughs> uh, all right, take that away. Yes, love it. I want it. Yay! You get it for another weekend, Gare. There you go. There we go. All right, another power of the force item. Quick one. Okay. Plane, plane sale. Speeder bike. Ten bucks. Ten bucks for the speeder bike. Oh, oh I had figure. fifteen. Darn it! I said fifteen in my list, but I've said ten now, so it's got to go for ten. Eighty on the remote. No. No. <laughs> there you go, Geek Strong. Yeah, uh, that that unfortunately, Geek Strong is is something that is gonna if it's gonna be sold, it has to be together. And I and I understand Gary's perspective on that one. I understand yours too. Don't get me wrong. But uh, Cy, fifteen bucks on the uh, on the on the speeder bike. He loves speeder bikes, and he loves uh, biker scouts. Biker scouts, right? Yeah. Sold the sigh. Sold the sigh. Look out for an extra biker scout in that package sigh. Ooh. Ooh. You know what I've been failing to do? Keep a list of everything? Well, a little bit of that. I'm kind of doing it, but. Or. Okay, what do we got here? <laughs> Everybody's favorite. Yeah. Jar Jar Binks puzzle. <laughs> Two exciting puzzles in one. I don't know what the other one was. Is 
it's Jar Jar and it's Jar Jar. When he puts his tongue on the <coughs> A new puzzle, challenge, try me. Silvers. What do we have on the puzzle? We had, I think we had five bucks on the puzzle. No, it was 10 bucks, but okay. If somebody gives me five bucks for Jar Jar, it's going to be theirs. <laughs> it does say try me. Yeah. But what do you got to do? I don't, oh, okay. Oh, wow, okay. It looks like a very kind of challenging puzzle, to be fair. Probably, yeah, it says ages eight and up, so I'm not qualified. Yeah. A little bit out of my expertise. Yeah, no, no loving for Jar Jar. What a surprise. No surprise there. Uh, what about another high ticket price item? Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it? Yeah. yeah. Another challenging one to let go. Mm. So nobody bid on this one. Oh boy. I know there are a couple of people watching this that is, this just is, went from six to midnight, if you know what I mean. This is um, done in, with pop. Box with pop. Complete. Complete B Wing. Can you take it out, Gary? Can we see the, the content That's inside? What she said. <laughs> Man. No bits. All right. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, late $5 bid for Jar Jar for Ed Five. Put it in the box. Um, the B Wing with the box, 250 Gary, was that the number? Uh, not my number. That was your number. But that yeah. was mine. Your number was 300 Yeah, it was. Yeah. Your number was 300 That's right. Oh, yeah. So the decals have not been applied. Oh, wait, there's one on the bottom. There's one, there's a couple on it. Um, I got to remember how to do this. You got the rotational thing, right? So Yeah, in the in the uh, engine, yeah. one of the engines. And there's a few buttons on here, isn't there? The, 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 oh, it's no, it's twist the engine, right? So Yeah, uh, twist the engine, find the one that turns. There you go. And you got the gyroscopic cockpit, which is such a cool feature and then there's a there's something else that it does as well right isn't it jeff said he'd do 250. <sighs> really yeah he did it's right there all right all right See, Danielle, it's possible. <laughs> Just so that it shows your palms with the, the right pieces. So excellent. Excellent. I'm liking you less today, by the way. <laughs> Me or Jeff? No, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> you say Jeff Barker? Jeff Barker, yep. Mr. Jeff Barker. <laughs> All right. I got another cool item that I don't want to get rid of. Well, hey. This okay. is another this yeah. is another beautiful item. Love it. I love this. Star yeah. Wars Creature Cantina, one of the first play sets to come out. 1978. Great box. Is missing the pop. The pop is missing. The cardboard is in fantastic condition. It is fully complete. Um plastic is like brand new box is in super stellar condition and it has and, both doors both yeah. doors okay yeah. it's complete it yeah 
uh, like I say, it is uh, it is missing the uh, the pop. You can see the pop is missing on the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Kind of a beaut. It is kind of a beaut. What's the number on it, Gary? What's the sticky note say? It's two seventy five. Two seventy five, and it and it has the instructions. Yes. Yep. Everything is is fully fully complete. The only thing that it's missing is the uh, is the pop. Is the pop two seventy five? Perfect. Yeah. No bids. Awesome. <laughs> One forty ain't gonna cut it there, buddy. <laughs> Not today, Jose. <laughs> yeah. 210 that's that's getting there it's getting there yeah it's getting that's there too close for comfort um <laughs> yeah the, the layer of the hammerhead yeah it is that's where the hammerhead ha hung out you don't need the next has lab right uh i don't know yeah come on it's gonna be the next house lab may okay. 1st is that what you're manifesting? Yeah. Yeah, it was on Yak's face, wasn't it? He put the uh, he put the uh, he put cheers. So, not too many places you say cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Um. All right, we'll see you, Lance. We'll have Gary get a hold of you, and you guys can uh, you guys can meet up to hand off that item. Perfect. Thanks, buddy. Two fifteen. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. <laughs> we'll stay another weekend. Another. Uh, just, just a few again. Okay. Sears exclusive Jabba's Dungeon complete. Does it have the pop? Does the box have the pop? Good, good question and the answer g-force is still no you're not putting another 20 but yes it is it's got full pop this is literally it is you could put that on target shelf and um yeah it could be a selling item now again full disclosure that the, the figures are not in that box right now but i think that we could possibly find them yeah, because there we have a pile of loose figures, right? We do. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So, um, if we can if we can round that out with some loose figures, we will we'll be happy to do that for whoever gets the box. What's the number on it? One fifty. One fifty. Which is a still if we definitely if we find the figures as well. So I mean. Even without the figures, that's a pretty pretty decent price for 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 that um, for that item. Yeah, I think sure. personal opinion. But <clears throat> now you uh, UK folk, Aussie folk, you guys didn't have a Sears, so this these didn't these didn't typically make it across the pond. So consider that. Oh, even so, again, fully complete. Um, yeah. Now this is the this is the one that came with Skiff, Claw Two, Eighty Eight, and um, Nikto. Not yeah, Nikto. Claw Two, Nikto, and Eighty Eight. Yep, three, three. Uh, the uh, Amana Man came in the non Sears exclusive version, along with Barada and EV Ninety Nine. So this is this is uh, the lesser. Oh yes, it came with that one. Okay, <laughs> and so. Here's the deal. Oh, that one's got the pop. Got Let's the pop. just put them both out there, okay? We'll just we'll tackle this both at the same time. There are no figures currently with either set. We'll try and round up the common figures for the Sears exclusive. We are not going to include any figures. Well, I, we can't include the figures for the other set. So while 150 for the Sears... Can include the figures. We're gonna go two, two hundred for the other one. Is that what we said, Gary? Yeah. Yep. 
Um, I can I can lay my hands on a Barada. Uh, I know that I have a Barada somewhere. That's right in it, Barada. Yeah. Barada. So, so right now, with no figures in either one, 150 for the Sears, 200 for the Kenner. Well, I guess they're both Kenner, but the non-Sears. The green, 200 for the green, 150 for the orange. And we'll we'll do our then just to get as many figures as we can. They won't be in baggies. They'll be loose. Yeah. Well, Ed's just come in with 150 for the Sears. Didn't, didn't, that's what we wanted, right? Yep. We can do that. Done for the orange. Okay. Well, that's good. All right. I don't when we took this collection, I think it was it was it was very apparent that the that the Star Wars stuff got played with. I think some of the Empire Strikes Back got played with. None of the Return of the Jedi stuff came out of the boxes. I think Adam's right. We are going to need a shipping container. <laughs> I think it's going to be multiple boxes for Ed. <laughs> Danielle says that trip to Oz is getting real, Ed. Wouldn't, wouldn't have to ask her twice. I know that. He he might be paying it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they they do look amazing. So two hundred on the on the green one if. If that uh, suits your fancy, uh, I will tell you that um, pre-COVID, I bought one with no figures for 250 bucks. So this is a little bit better than that. And I know it was about three years ago, but uh, whatever it was before COVID. But um, yeah, and that box is in much nicer shape than mine. It is base crane and instructions. Yep, it is a very simple. The 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 play sets themselves are from the same mold. Um, they're just different colors, different color plastic. Okay, another one that that, that probably will not go. Mm. Oh. <clears throat> so has this been opened? It's opened. Uh, it is complete. It's the silver microphone uh, black flute version. Okay. Um, so loose with box. Yeah. Yellow, yellow, yellow bubble. Um, Max has lost some color. He, he's definitely less blue than, than, than what he should be. Okay. Uh, but it's a complete set. And the the sticky note. So this uh, this this was this was one that Rob uh, put to one side, and and then he said no, he's going to let this one go. I think it's actually probably come down in price. Uh, I had around I had three hundred on it, but again, it's mm -hmm. it's up for up for up for discussion. Okay. Sure. Let's it's, talk about it. Yeah. Let's talk about it. Let's look at the back there because the back has the figures on it. It looks cool. Yeah. It's a 77 back. It's kind of, uh, it's one of those ones where the, uh, so the, I think the, uh, the, the, the tray came with a, a cardboard back on it and that's, mm -hmm. that's obviously gone. Uh, so it, it basically the, 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 they, yeah, they're loose in the, in the plastic. I see an offer of 150 for Mr. Lab Pulse. Mm -hmm. 
that's an Andy price. That's, that's... I know. <laughs> I'm like, well, let's see, 150 now is better than waiting for. <clears throat> Uh, good, 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 uh, good, good shout from Skywalker. Is that for the Rebo band or is that for the the uh, the what is it? The Jabba the Hutt dungeon. There you go. That was two hundred. Yeah, it was two hundred for for that. Oh, yeah. So if you offered one hundred and fifty. Oh, one hundred and fifty for the for the green dungeon set. Yeah. Okay. That makes more sense to me. That makes more sense. Yeah. Let's do it. Yep. Let's do it. You got it. You got it, Mr. Lab Pulse. Haven't seen John in a while, so good good to I see know. you, man. Good, good on you, buddy. That's a good price on that, but I feel good about it. Yeah, that's a that's a, yeah, it's one of those ones where you go, that's that's a cool set, it's going to a cool person, and yeah, it's a fair price. So John gave me something once that I still have. Yep. We got still love the video of Shabby crying his eyes out. <laughs> Was he flying the, uh, the shuttle Tidarium? It's what John gifted uh, Shabby, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So there was no love on the Rebo band, right? No love. Cool. Okay, this is a uh, okay. So this is uh, this is another challenging one to give away. Um, beat up box to hell. Uh, Star Wars uh, land speeder. Land speeder is is in super cool condition. It's with sticker. Got the bump stop on the front. This is the General Mills one. Um, Chrome is in fantastic condition. Yeah, it is yeah um yellowed kind of dull visor but there yeah um, present box, boxes beat the hell missing a pop but it you know hey, par partially resembles a box yeah <laughs> <laughs> what's the number on this one it can't be too much right I can't remember. I, this was not in the list because I didn't want to get rid of it. So, so put a number on it. Me put it. You want me to put a number on it? Are you sure? You can put a number on it. The chat can put a number on it. Hopefully, the number I, I won't like and it can stay on the shelf. Okay. Well, I know you can get a loose one for around forty bucks. This one happens to be in good shape, and you get most of a good box. I'll say 60 bucks. What do you think about that, Gary? I think Danielle should bid. <laughs> <clears throat> now, this was a toy that I remember everybody had. Right? Yeah. I, I even, just, even I had this one. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The Every. I think the two toys that I had as a kid uh, was the land speeder and the snow speeder. And those, those are the two that are, you know, yeah. Danielle said, yep, that's, that's, it's, it's, it's ours. It's staying, staying in the collection. <laughs> that's what nope means, right? Well, Ed five with 65, we said 60. Let's do 60, Ed. You said 60. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely like Andy, less and less. <laughs> <Huh>. Goodbye. <laughs> Man, good deal, Ed. That's a good deal. What, what about this one? 
it's again probably uh, uh, hard to display. Um, this is the diecast Y-wing. Okay, with the bomb. With the bomb. With the bomb. Uh, again, full disclosure: the right wing has been glued on. Um, the right, the left wing uh, functions as normal, so you can. Uh, left wing is functions as normal. Uh, mm -hmm. Slots out, pulls in. Right wing has been glued in, glued in professionally. Mm, professionally. Professionally. Um, seen some, seen some, seen some action. But a cool item. I've never, never had any of the diecast items. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's any, uh, any love for that. Yeah, I think the love. Now, this is one of the less common die casts, and the, and the fact that it has the bomb with it is is a is a definite perk. I know one of the wings being glued in isn't ideal, but no, nope. it's it's in good shape. It does have the thing that is frequently gone. Um, the what's the uh, how how much we want for this gear? You're you're putting numbers out there, so. All right, let's let's uh, let's go seventy five on this. Yo, that you go seventy five. Hey, what are you, the land speeder? You know, just give it away. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, seventy five is still a good. It's still a good number for this. Um, this is a hundred dollar die cast. So. And actually, that's true as well. I know Haha, -ha, he will probably take you up on that. Um, yeah, no no doubt. I, I, I'm going down to see Ed. <laughs> <laughs> you guys will have a fun time playing. <clears throat> we got to get you a spinner, Gary. Yeah, there you go. I missed the spinner. Still still my favorite, favorite Holly Chronicles moment of the spinners. Uh, what do we had? We had the hand solo. Yeah. Uh, cloud Pike. Cloud, Cloud car, car pilot. pilot. Oh and man, that was that was. We a had killer. Vader and we had Max Rebo. I don't remember Vader. Four. I don't remember Vader. <gasps> okay, we we'll have to dust it off. <laughs> yeah, you need to dust that one off. The hand, the hand one absolutely kills me. The 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 twin car, twin car pilot one kills me. Mac Mac Max was was okay. Let's just put it there. <laughs> We had visions of doing one for every figure, but oh yeah, my gosh. I, I know they were fun to make, and we did get some good response. Oh from that. yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! All right, no love, no no, no love. dice on the die cast there, which is nope. fine. Do we have any? Are there? Were there any mugs? Yep. Let's grab those. Grab all of them. Not all of them, because one of them is going to stay in my collection. Okay. Grab most of them. Grab most of them. Because <clears throat> I think all of these, I think these mugs will all have the same number on them. So that one's kind of strange, because these, the, these are the two Boba Fett. Um, so you can see that they're marked Boba Fett. Yeah. It's like it's, one's got a big box, one's got a little box. Okay. Take, them, uh, take one of them out. I know they yeah. look the same. And they are, hang on a second, that's which one. And, uh, but they are the same size mug. Yeah. So you get the certificate of, of fantasy. Gary, Jeff asked the question, is there anything other than Star Wars coming up today? Is this, uh, is this all Star Wars? Possibly. What would you like to see, Jeff? There was a question about Battlestar Galactica. Uh, we do have some Battlestar Galactica, but that that's not easy to get to. Okay, not today, Jeff. What's he looking? Will... What's he looking for on Battlestar Galactica? Uh, we'll let him. We'll let him say. Uh, we do have a uh, the Fayed, the June figure, the six inch uh, June figure that's kind of on card, off card. It's uh, it's with accessories. Hmm. Well, See, don't, don't say it if you can't re reach it because someone will want to see it. So it's one of those ones where I thought I put everything on the shelves and that's that's it. And then 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 Danielle reminded me that there was drawers full of stuff that that I moved and put into different places. And so it was like, oh yeah, 
you're right yeah. yeah no no clash of the titans that's all went to uh what that went to uh gianni uh, red five Got designs it. he took yeah, the whole it. lot of the titans which was a that was a fun little lot um so these mugs gary yeah. um you know i i've seen i'm very familiar with these mugs they usually go between five and ten bucks the boba of course with the boba tax is more 15 to 20 but uh but assuming that they're all in good shape um yeah that's kind of what we're looking at here these uh you know we've got two bobas Those and there's a c and a c3po and a c but you're keeping that one no no there's there's a there's an extra c3po okay I know you have a C three PO focus. Oh your... yeah. Oh, that's a that's a nice shiny. Shiny. All right. Make a make a bid for one, two, or three. Be clear. So I see a, a fifteen and a fifteen. Is that for both of the? Uh, Boba Fett's there, Mr. Saber and Mr. Five. And then uh, make an offer on the C-3PO. So give me the details. Well, I'm just getting clarification. Okay. $10 for the 3PO, 15 for the Boba for Ed Five. That's good. And then I think Galanorian Saber got the other Boba Fett for 15. I, I think that's good. Mugs sold. So uh, Ed was Ed was Ed was two. Yeah, 10 and 15. All right, got it. Got it, got it, got it. All right. Well, I'm packing up. You can describe this one. This is kind of, I'm going to make sure that I don't break anything now. <laughs> yes. This is basically, uh, what is it? Battleships, Star Wars yep. Battleships. Electronic? Yep. Works. Electronic Battleship for Star Wars. Yep. Uh, put batteries in, uh, tested it. Everything is is great. Everything's good. Real voices and sounds from the Star Wars trilogy. The original and still the best. Yeah, I've I've played this game before. It is You cool. have? Yeah. Cool. It uh it is very much like Battleship. And that was a game that I was into when I was a kid. And this is this came out in the '90s, so I was in you know my teens and twenties in the '90s. So, but yeah, I, I definitely played this. Uh, let stuff back in. Okay, uh, what do we have on this? Just as a. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. We had 30 bucks on this. Just 30 just, bucks? That's what, we, that's what we put, 30 bucks. G Force in at 30 bucks. Sweet. Screw Uncle Sam. We're spending money to buy Star Wars stuff. I love it. 
G Force, thirty bucks. Nice one. Just when you thought you were out, they pulled me back in. I've got a lot of Star Wars posters for sale, guys. That's a whole nother stream. Holy smokes. Okay, so uh, if you remember Presto Magic, it was like a scene you put like um, PVC or like uh, pads. Presto the, Magic? Yeah, so it was, uh, they're like sticky, re-sticky. You create a scene, you like got the Millennium Falcon, you peel it off and you put it in different places. Um, so we have uh, the, the, the Presto Magic uh box that was at the at the at the store and you have two sealed return of the jedi scenes okay uh one is the jabba the hut throne room scene so okay fully sealed and then you have uh ewok village sealed so we're doing all these together because they're all kind yeah, of the you're same gonna do this as kind of a bundle so you've got you get the two packets the the box shelf and then you get the uh the star wars stick and lift uh scene from uh from star wars and we said 25 bucks 25 bucks for the lot yeah I think that's pretty good again these uh there's kind of a lot of love for uh package store packaging and that's a it's a yeah it's a cool little item to display 15 mm, let's go 20 20 geek strong 20. 20. Mm, mangy fan dangy with a 20 Maybe oh you know, you know, that, those the ones 21 for oh, that's that's <laughs> harsh. that's a harsh bid should we do should we do what um what geek strong did the stew in the uh in the chair uh in the uh yeah was it he was in jeopardy right it was the <laughs> congratulations side 20 bucks it's yours Sorry, it's written down. It's size. <laughs> it's size. So I got that one. By the way, Sai, my uh, my my comic should be arriving tomorrow. What about this for a random piece? Uh, we don't love random. Totally random. This is a sign from a greetings cards. Uh, Return of the Jedi greeting cards, uh, 1983, and it was which company? Got to read that. I can't read it. Drawing board greeting cards ink. So again, it's a, a display piece. Um, oh yeah, thick, thick cardboard. Kind of cool graphic. Very cool. In amazing condition. Consider it's nineteen eighty three. And I have no idea how to put a value on that, but I'm sure that it's more than ten ten bucks. <laughs> Why? Well, uh, yeah. It, it's it's closer to a hundred than it is a ten, for sure, and that might be conservative. These display pieces, especially when they're in good shape, tend to. Kevin Cox, man, that is random. It is random. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely random. Now, what what goes in it again? Greeting cards. Greeting yeah. cards. Greeting cards. So yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, uh, yeah just a. 
I don't know. We had greeting card stores in the UK. I don't know uh, what it was like over here, but we had dedicated greeting cards, and it would be a cardboard display, and then it would be the header for for that to tell you it was Star Wars. Okay, Mrs. Scuba Pete at twenty. Good to see you, Mrs. Scoop Pete. Good to see you on Tub Thumpers. Yes, it was. Leslie was awesome. I now know so much more about Strawberry Shortcake. It's unbelievable. More than you ever thought you needed to know. More than I ever thought that I needed to know. Yeah, that's right. Mrs. Scuba Pete was on her way to, to yeah. jolly old England for the NEC with Mr. Scuba Pete. Um, so Gary, you know how you've had some that you're just like a little harder to let go than others. Yep. This is, this is an item like that for me. Cool. I, uh, I'm not, I, I'm not sure I want to let this go. It's gotta be a, a, a pretty stand up offer. I think for, for this one, the slide it's coming to Portland could be, could be, I'll show you one more that you'll probably say exactly the same. So we might as well keep on that roll. Okay. Cause this is, uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> Return of the Jedi Ewoks display box. Uh, so again, it's, uh, yeah. So what would be kept in this box are those big plush Ewok stuffed animals. Yeah. Correct. Yep. Yeah. And, uh, very cool. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know what, Gary, it's not that, it's not that I don't want it to go. I just need to find out a little bit more information. On it, that's all. Yeah. Super random item. It's totally random and weird and not something I've ever seen outside of this collection. So I don't know. I, I don't know if it's worth 20 bucks. I don't know if it's worth 200 bucks. You know, so I, I need to find out. I, I'd feel better about selling it once I knew a little bit more about it. You know? Okay, what's this? This is a drawing set. We've got some artists in the chat. Yeah, this is a 3D Vader poster art. 17 and a half inches by 22 inches poster. Three colorful non-toxic pens, glue, and die-cut parts sheet. So it comes with, uh, with the pen set. Uh, this is actually, uh, there is one for sale on eBay. I gotta have a look what what it was selling for. It was actually a ridiculous amount, I thought, but like ridiculous for this is how much? Like thirty. So it's it's going on eBay for a hundred bucks. Ooh, get out of here! So we put fifty bucks on it. Okay, it's, it's still sealed. It's in its cellophane. Um, again, cool poster. Yeah. If you're if you're into posters, I know I know somebody in in at least in this arena is on screen. <laughs> Andy, you can't tease us with that Ewok display. I, I know. We, I I need to find did. out more about it, and I did, and I'm sorry. Just you're did. absolutely right. I guilty, guilty. I just I want I want to find out more about it. I want to be an informed. An informed guy about this stuff. I, it's, it was a team. Geek but. Strong says he remembers that poster. There you go. That's cool. That's that's good to know. Yeah. So it's not just a, a one-off thing. Right. Well, no love on the poster. It doesn't look like yeah. uh, there. There were the in assembly instructions, so it is. It is something you have to kind of. Oh, there's the completed one. If you uh, if you if you colored it correctly, okay. Oh, and it has some coloring hints. How to make solid red and solid yellow and solid blue. Mm. Use the pens provided. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's another random one for Andy to look at. 
<laughs> okay. What 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 about this? Uh, this is this is a cool item. Um, yes. And a quick claim sale. So this yes. Is Star Wars intergalactic passport, and it has stamps from all around the galaxy. Are they stamped in it already? Uh, let me have a look. No. Uh, so you 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 have the stamps there. It's, okay. It's, it's not it's not used. God, that's cool. So it has all the visa. So it's all the pages. You have all of the the different different locations: Port of Entry, Hut Palace, Hoth, Port of Entry, Dagobah, uh, Star Destroyer, Dantooine, Tatooine, Mos Eisley, Millennium Falcon, Alderaan, if it was still there, Bespin. Uh, yeah. So it's all the yeah, cut out skills and paste in visas section. That's so, totally yeah, cool. Just to confirm, this is not a real passport. <laughs> this cannot be used for entry to any <laughs> international, any, any international space destination. Port. However, if you go intergalactic, this is what you need. Yeah, yeah. Until so, until Elon gets us to. Uh, Moss Eisley, we I mean, we can't use that in real life. So what's what's the number on that? That's a cool thing. That's an old thing. Yeah. <laughs> Rick says you could get into Canada with that for sure. <laughs> nice one, Rick. Uh, so this was a claim sale, and we had ten bucks on it. So I think that's a steal. So anybody is. else gonna agree with me and claim it? Well, yeah, we got a ten dollar offer on it from Head Five. I'll be using it to go down under. And Ed, we don't take Imperial credits, by the way. Just looking at your <laughs> your lots. <laughs> Uh, or Mon Calamari Flan. All right, more random stuff. More random stuff. Love Don't it. know what these are. These are episode one. I think they were from Taco Bell, KFC, Pizza Hut. You have uh, Darth Maul's speeder, two of those. And then you have uh, Anakin's uh, pod racer and Anakin's viewer. And what do we have on the Phantom Menace lot? I think this was another quick, quick bundle lot. If I could find it, that would be good. Who knows? Can you hear me still? My screen froze. Yep. Okay. Am I frozen on your screen? Move. I, I am. Okay. Yes, you're frozen. <laughs> All right. Well, at least you can hear me. I can hear you fine. Um, yeah. So this was the Phantom Menace lot TPM, where I wrote down TPM. Da, 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 where you can be. Nope. I can't find it. Andy's frozen. Frozen here. Yes, the, yep, Adam Adam Barry says, yep, these are Taco Bell toys. Interesting. I don't think we had Taco Bell in the UK. I don't remember that. Do they now? I don't think so. Somebody can confirm in the chat. Those old eyes, Gary. Yeah, exactly, GeForce Mark. Uh, Phantom Menace lot, 15 bucks. Probably pushing it. <laughs> no, that's that's a good five dollar bin, you know. I Deals. think you're right. There you go. Am I back? No, but Galian. Oh, Galian Morian Saber, save the day. Fifteen bucks. It's his. Sweet. Nice one. Yeah, he he is a younger guy. He's a he's a prequel era guy. So this makes sense. This makes yeah. sense. He probably had himself one or two of these 
Maybe. All right, let's let's stay with uh, let's stay with Phantom Menace. Uh, I think it's Phantom Menace. Episode one. Ah, they're not going to stand up. Can you see those? Uh, yeah, hold one up close to the screen because they're no. not the same, right? One's a Qui Gon, no. one's an Obi Wan. Obi Wan Kenobi. The other one is Qui Gon Jinn. Uh, candy dispenser. <laughs> Push the button, and uh, yeah, we have fight action. Um, nice. Lightsaber filled with delicious fruit flavored candy. Collect all three. We have two. Still and has, the candy's still in there. Still has the candy. Now, it comes with a disclaimer don't eat the candy, kids. So you have Obi Wan Kenobi and Qui Gon Jinn. Lightsaber candy, 10 bucks. Okay. Oops. I got him. <laughs> I'm having some internet struggles over here. It's still working. You're switching screens. So it's uh, right okay. now, right? It's, it's, it's good. Okay, good. I'll just be a, a presence, a phantom menace, if you will. Yes. Did anybody buy the B-Wing? Yes. Yes, unfortunately, so so shabby. Jeff Barker bought the B-Wing. For a cool 250. <laughs> Enough said. Nothing on the uh nothing on the, the, the candy? No. Nothing on the candy. No 20 year 25 year old candy. Pass. What, how much we got left here, Gare? Just a couple. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, we could. There's a, a few more items, uh, and then we'll we'll call it a day. We've been going what two and a half hours, just over, right? So yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Luke nice. Skywalker lightsaber, electronic power of the force. Never been opened. You extend it to over three feet. Mm. This was a quick claim item, 30 bucks. 30. <laughs> Shabby's in at 10. Okay. All right. Let's just start. He likes, the, he, like, he likes the Luke Skywalker, right? Yeah, he does. He's dipping his toe in the water here. If he could come up just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just more. a little bit. <laughs> 25 for shabs sold to the aussie via or excuse me to the northerner via the aussie and we'll do the honor of paying the shipping on that This is a funny one. Another saber. It's a universal remote. It's a learning remote. So you can basically change your satellite, TV, hi-fi. It's a universal remote. A, a lightsaber universal remote. Has that ever been opened, Gary? Uh, both ends are don't have any seal on it, so I, I I I don't know. Yeah, I think I think I think I have actually taken out the box to picture it at a certain point in time. So okay, the answer would be yes. It has come out of the box. That is cool. Can you imagine changing channels with a lightsaber? <laughs> yeah. Awesome. 
of course, this is for televisions in the what late nineties. <laughs> it may not. It might be old tech at this point. You might you might turn need it to turn on your TV when you play your uh, NES system or something. Your Sony Genesis. That might be for your Sony Trinitron. Flat screen plasma. Yeah, there you go. Twenty bucks. Sold. Sold to the northerner for his ugly brother. Got it. <laughs> All right. Um I think you posted this picture earlier, right? It's the yeah, Parker Brothers, the play for Force card games, five games in one. Return okay. of the Jedi, nineteen eighty-three. Um, yeah. What do we have on that? Parker, 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 Parker. Parker. Yeah, of course. Uh, we had ten bucks on the card game. Ten bucks on the card game. And ten do bucks. we have any uh, carrying cases? Deek Strong was wondering if we had any carrying cases. Mm, yes. A a Jedi Return of the Jedi carrying case. Oh, what? Sorry. Galanorian Saber in at ten dollars for the card set. It's yours, buddy. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Painted figurine of Luke on a tom tom. Is it ceramic or plastic? <laughs> Set contains one molded vinyl figurine ah. that has been painted. It's yeah, it's loose loose on the card. Let's just put it that way. Loose on the card. Loosey goosey. Already been painted. Yeah. Figurine. Figurine, figurine, figurine. It was ten bucks. Thick vinyl, ten bucks. I painted the F out of this is a good thing on thick vinyl. <laughs> Gotta love the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Who's bidding on what? Sorry, we got paint up there. What's that? Uh, we got a few things. Oh, shit. Um, so there's a 25 and a 7 and then a 10. For what? Well, I think I think they're all for this thing. Um, but with that delay, I, I'm not 100% sure. So we had 10 bucks on the figurine. Next one to, to claim it at 10 bucks, it's yours. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so add five, it's another 10. Daniel, was shout, da Daniel was shouting at me. Oh, oh, so it sounds like somebody else won it. Well, yeah. Ed Five was first one in on that.
Dr. Mazza. All right, Mazza. Thanks for joining us, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out on Good Friday. Have a great rest of your Friday. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? So this is a micro machines collection. Um, these are the little cast figures, die cast, I think. Yeah. Um, so we've got three shipper bags directly from Kenner. Uh, each with their their little catalog, so they came with a catalog for each one, and then we've got a best bin playset. So we do have all of the figs. The best bin play set super cool in the fact that uh, when you put hand down in the carbon freezer chamber, what pops up is hand in carbonite. Nice. So all of the little figs are in little bags. So yeah, we got three bags of, of, of extra figures. Uh, so let me... So you can the oh, there's Boba Fett. Nice. You have mm, Vader, <laughs> freshly dented in the Mac. You have Lando. Nice. So you have hand going <laughs> hand going down. Mm-hmm. Hand hand coming up. Nice. So with uh, with the figures and the playset, this does not have a box with it, right? Does not. No, it's uh, three bags of loose figures. So you got loads of different extras. That's that's the best pin set. Um, then you have kind of C three PO, R two B two. These are all in little little bags, sealed bags. So you're you're getting some extras, is what you're saying? What I'm saying is you're getting some extras. Obi Wan Kenobi in a bag. Uh, R2-D2 in a bag. So these are, these are all sealed figures. Golden dude himself. Uh, super cool one there with the Leia, with the blaster. So those are, those are those are two bags of sealed additional figures that came with, that were just sent from Kenner directly. So they came in little 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 shipper bags. So you've got two bags of extra figures and so on. Uh, Luke needing some help apparently. Another Obi Wan Kenobi. Oh, another another one down. So two bags of figures. The best in place set. Three mini catalogs. No clue what price to put on that. Yeah. So you've got some of the loose ones and some in baggies, right? Yeah. Two bags of baggies, and then the loose ones are for the the best bin playset, which is which has been played with, but it's complete. Yeah. Yeah. I I gotta think there's there's fifty bucks here at least. <laughs> I know the I know the little minis in the baggies that they're cool and they're sealed in baggies, but they don't typically go for much. No, the um, the best bin ones are played with, so they've they've got paint chips. The the boba one is super super cool. I mean, just yeah. it's just boba, right? So it's 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 a at five sixty nine bucks. Can't argue with that. Nope. Close. Lance, you were close. I think little mini booklets go for about 
10 to 15 bucks anyway, right? The, the little return <laughs> of Jedi. Yeah, they can. So, yeah, super cool set. Okay, well, another random item that the uh, first 12 shipper box that's the display stand oh, for the display stand, yeah. Okay, now I do have a little prior knowledge of what these can go for i've i have purchased one of these myself um the number that we're going to put on that box gary just for the box nothing else just the shipper box for the first 12 display stand is 120 dollars. and i know you're thinking that's just a brown shipper box, Andy. And I will tell you, I know that sounds a little ridiculous, but that's where the market's at with these things. And, and, uh, and yeah, do you know your boxes? I do. Unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then what one twenty is is not a is not a crazy ask. It's not a crazy asking price on this. Mold free, yes, it is mold free. Mold, mold free. <laughs> I mean, it's all there. It's right there. And yeah, if you have a first twelve display stand, then then adding to this would make it complete. It didn't come. Well, I shouldn't say that. There were some boxes, especially for this display stand that came out later and they are very, very rare and they have like box art on them and everything. But, um, but yeah, this is your standard shipper box for this and 120 bucks. 120 bucks is the, is the number backer. Ah, oh, the backer. Okay. Well, that's the, the, the black the piece at the back with the, yeah. X -wing, right. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yeah. So they, 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 this was a, a mail away, was it? Right? Is that is that right? Um, yeah, you you sent you sent in for that, um, and I know it's the it's not this isn't an item for many. No, There's not a lot of people be, that are going a, either in. a Facebook group uh, snag. Yeah, yeah, it's probably our our best. Uh, probably our best outlet there no takers on the cardboard box <laughs> yeah Temp some temptation but uh no and that's okay that's okay that's uh, it's not for everybody but andy knows his boxes so right let's wrap this up in terms of we've got 10 minutes and i know it's going to kind of be a disappointing ending uh, <laughs> <laughs> but talking about boxes Oh yeah, MPC. This is the uh, the snap kit collectors. Uh, so uh, various different things here. This is a bundle, um, and uh, the slave one. Uh, so you have you. I'm gonna I'm gonna take them away and then like kind of display them individually. Okay. So I'll take are, are we doing this in one lot? Just one lot, please. Okay. You, please, please take it. Okay. Please. So these are all models. So we have the slave one. Mm -hmm. uh, so this has been this has been painted somewhat. Um, it's complete. It has the instructions. It has like the yeah the uh, the clear glass etc uh, etc. Et Everything is in there. The box including is, a, an old. It's probably rock hard tube of glue. <laughs> that stuff smelled so good. You, now, that, no, now, now, Andy, we do not condone glue <laughs> sniffing on this channel. 
I can I can I can vouch for Josh that he said he said if Andy starts talking about glue snipping, we we don't condone that. <laughs> but you yeah, I as soon as I saw that, I had a, a smell memory. They had a smell memory. Yeah. Uh, so the next one uh, would be a beat up box with the B wing. Uh, okay. So, so Shabby, there is a, there Shabby, is a B wing that yeah. is available. Uh, again, it's uh, it's 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 complete with instructions. Definitely a beat up box. Um, okay. Okay. That. So, but 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 complete. Uh, right. I, I've never seen this one before, but this is the Jabba the Hutt throne room. Okay, okay. Uh, again, I think this one is great condition box, complete uh, with 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 painted accessories. So in in the box you have uh, various things, including a painted Jabba. Uh, all of the different accessories do you have C3PO, have it says, um, Max it says, GeForce. Fan. It says GeForce written all over it. It's with the instructions, it's got the uh, the you know, the diorama pieces. Uh, again, su super cool, never seen that one. Return the Jedi, very cool. Base is 12 inches by 18 inches. And then you have uh, a box. But wait, there's more. A box of boxes, basically. I think this one is. Uh, so we have the Empire Strikes uh, back Rebel base. No Rebel base, just a box. And then it's got all of the different boxes. So we've got an extra B Wing box. We've got a TIE Interceptor box. We've got a X Wing box all of the instructions and one more which was an a-wing box so they're just empty boxes and instruction manuals for for all of them nice okay so this isn't for one it's for all all of it all of it and we're not looking for a big number no we're not you know, and there's some things that can still be put together and painted on. And, and so if you're into that, there's there's still opportunity with some B-Wing, with the Jabba, with the Slave 1. The Slave 1 is cool. 25? I say we do it. Let's do it. Skywalker's Academy. Down. Is that in on the, is that it? Are we done? So there was a question about, uh, do we have a, uh, do we have a collection case or something like that? Yeah. Uh, so what was the question? And, and what do we have a return of the Jedi case? That was, that was from Geeks. Oh, Street. return of the Jedi case. Okay. Um, uh, right. Bear with me. <laughs> bear with me bear with me so that was 25 bucks to skywalkers academy right correct even better than that we have A space case. A space case, okay. With the blue trays. Two space cases. Twelve action figures. At a time? Yep. Yeah. They look like they're in good shape. They are in good shape. So I saw these in Austin, and uh, these were selling for fifty bucks. <laughs> so, or, amazingly enough, so it's kind of funny. This is the space case, and somebody's put stickers in there for Star Wars. Yeah. So we have uh, Bespin Guard, Lobot, Leia Organa, Bespin, Ugnaught, Leia Organa, Hoth Battle, 
2-1-B medical droid, FX medical droid, power droid, RD5, and Yoda. Space cases. 25 for the pair. How's that sound? Twenty five for the pair. If you're good, I'm good. I'm good with that. Geek strong, you got it. Congrats, Dito. So I think we do have, but I don't I cannot get my hands on it. So we'll I think we should save that for another day. Okay. That sounds good. This has been quite the uh, evening slash afternoon. Thank you guys who stuck around the whole time. Amazing. Had, had quite a few people watching on YouTube, on Facebook, um, and on X. So uh, thanks for those who popped in. Thanks to those who stuck around the whole time. Thanks to those who uh, grabbed a couple items on the way. Um, I'm going to ask that just like there's a good chance that we've got a lot of your guys's information. Those of you that purchased, um, we've got your information already. And, uh, but I, I'm going to ask that you get a hold of us, um, just to double check, just to make sure. And that way we can get a shipping quote to you as soon as possible with the final total of what you, what you have purchased so um, do that for us even if you are pretty sure that we have your information just do it for do it for me because just so that i can dot my i's and cross my t's and, uh, and we can get it to you as fast as possible so um thanks again for showing up gary Amazing. good job good yeah, job thanks. Thanks everybody. Just you, you guys are, are are awesome. We're glad that we're able to to get you these items that you want in in your collection. Um, so again, appreciate the support. And uh, at five, uh, I'll uh, I'll organize a, a shipping container soon. Yeah. So um, uh, thanks again, one more time. And you know, there's there's it's likely that we will do another one. We'll we'll probably have one more to do. Uh, with all the stuff that uh, that we still have. So keep an eye out for that. And uh, once you get them, go play with your toys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Peace out.